know a lot of you, like me, have been stuck inside recently. That's why, as the captain of the Victory Volleyball team, I've prepared a simple at-home volleyball guide. Come on, let's go! In this episode, I want to focus on passing. One of the strongest things a team can have is solid overhand and underhand passing. So, let's get started. A good volleyball pass consists of three things. A good foundation, a good platform, and letting the ball bounce off of you. Starting with the foundation, I like to call this the unshakable stance. So, you'll want your legs, or your feet, slightly more than shoulder width apart. One foot is going to be in front of the other. A little forward, a little back, it doesn't matter. You want your knees slightly bent and your core tight, abs contracted. Come on, let me show you what I mean. It's the same thing. Tight core, solid stance. It can't be moved. As long as my abs are tight, no matter how hard they push, they're not going to move me out of the way. Second, I relax and I'm all over the place. Second, the platform. You want your arms to come together. One fist, one hand. Doesn't matter which one, as long as it's fast and consistent. This platform is straight arms. You can move back, forward, side to side, but it stays straight. Hmm. Kind of shaped like pizza. Give me a second. See? Like a slice of pizza. This is a great visualization of our platform. You can move it this way, this way, back, forward, all around. It doesn't matter. This is our platform. It stays straight. Now that you have your unshakable stance and your pizza platform, just let the ball bounce off of you. Now that we've gone over how to pass, let's get into the exercises that you can do at home. First, pass to yourself. This is all about control and repetition. Seven, As you pass, eight, count to 50. Nine, counting by ones can get boring, 30, so try counting by threes. 36. Or by five. Point, one, four, one, five, nine, two, six, Five, three, five, nine. Second, throw the ball as high as you can in the air. Get under it and let the ball bounce off you. Now I should probably mention that there's a passing sweet spot right here. This is the best place to pass off, but you can still pass the ball as long as it's on your platform. Watch this ball hit me in the shoulder. I can still pass it just fine. Third, if you can, have someone hit or throw some down balls at you. It's the best way to practice. Sometimes the ball can be just a little bit out of reach. Watch as I tilt my platform to the right and to the left. Looks like rain. Let's see what we can do inside. Now, inside we can still do our passing, but we have a ceiling and a lot of breakable things around. So let's find a safe area to play. It's good to find a clear area to play. I recommend taking all the stuff out of your brother's room. Gabe, why is all my stuff in the living room? Don't worry about it. When you're passing inside, you want to get the ball as close to the ceiling as you can without touching it. Additionally, you can use the wall as a passing partner. Try and hit the same spot on the wall each time. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned some great tips about practicing volleyball. That's it for this episode. Bye-bye. Alright, airplane's fast.